What's up, Capricorn? It's Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your mini case of the X reading. This will be from September 20th through October the 1st. So let's see what the X is up to. Let's see how they feel. Let's see if they want to get back together. This will be for your sun, moon, rising, also Venus. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Messages for the sign of Capricorn and love. How does the X feel when it comes to Capricorn? September 20th through October the 1st. All right, so what is the X up to? We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups. So, the ex is trying to find balance. I feel like they could have been juggling while they were with you. And that could have been the reason why you guys could have broke up. We do have the Page of Wands here and we have the Knight of Cups. So, how I'm looking at this is, for some of you, your ex, Page of Wands, they met someone new. The Knight of Cups. This looks like this is going to be something that's going to be short-lived. Some type of fling. You know, something that's going to be... short-lived okay and they're trying to find balance here the page of wands is staring at the knight of cups so i feel like whoever you guys are dealing with if they left you to be with someone else they thought that they were going to have like this new beginning and things are going to be great and they're seeing that things aren't great so this person is trying to find balance in the situation okay the knight of pentacles hmm I feel like whoever this person is, they offer them something or, you know, told them like, okay, we're going to have this new beginning. We're going to be together. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And they're seeing that this person is not taking action, Knight of Pentacles. So they're not doing nothing. They're not taking action. But um, this could have been how they were doing you and maybe we're in a relationship and told you like, okay, we're going to be together and we're going to have this new beginning. And it's like, with the Knight of Cups, you kind of feel like it's over with. Like, it's like you guys had your fun. It's done. It's over with. Knight of Cups. But there's feelings here. See the Lover's card. But this will also let me know that this was like a love triangle third party. But for some of you guys, you guys feel in love with this person. Now, what I'm looking at and seeing is that some of you guys knew this was a fling or, you know, some type of friends with benefits or nothing serious. But it turned out to be more. Yeah, I see Three of Swords. Okay, so what they're up to is they're thinking about the situation. They're kind of torn right now. Okay, wanting to make a decision for some of you guys. Like I said, if they left a situation, they're kind of having regrets now and wanting to come back. They're still not balanced or they're not finding balance in that other situation either. Or they see that there wasn't more balance in that situation. So made a wrong choice. Um, now, how do they feel about you? We have the Eight of Swords. We have Judgment. We have the Four of Pentacles. So they're still holding on to you with the Four of Pentacles. Now the Eight of Swords was them. I feel like this would have been in the past or before you guys broke up. You know, kind of feeling trapped, kind of feeling stuck in the relationship with you and wanting to come out of it. We have a Magician. Yeah, they wanted to come out of it. You know, this person wanted to just do whatever they wanted to do with the Magician. So this person wanted to be in control. They wanted to have power. They wanted to deal with other women, other men. You know, they thought that was making them happy or was going to make them happy. And then now they're being faced with judgment. And judgment is them thinking about you guys' relationship, reflecting and going back to the past or going back to the relationship that you guys had. And they're holding on because they realize that, you know, at the end of the day, there was a love there. There was a connection. And you guys have more than what anybody else was offering because judgment is here. They're looking at all of that with judgment. Yeah, I see the Three of Cups. You know, you made them feel abundant. You made them feel happy. You're the person of their dreams. Okay? When you guys go out, you guys have a good time. I just feel like you guys were just maybe going through things in the relationship. But whoever this is, we definitely have the Four of Pentacles. So they're definitely holding on. They're still holding on to this relationship or this connection here. We do have the lover's card. So maybe there, you know, wasn't balanced. Maybe you guys just couldn't see eye to eye, okay, at the time. And that caused the person to want to, you know, come out of the situation. 
maybe that's why they felt trapped because they felt as if they couldn't do what they wanted to do. So do they want to get back together? We have the nine of swords. We have the eight of pentacles. We have the six of swords. Someone's definitely stressed out. I feel like the ex is stressed out. They're definitely in their head a lot. They're thinking the worst right now with the nine of swords. And why is this nine of swords here? We have the three of wands. For some of you guys, the ex just doesn't know what to say. It's like they want to, you know, open up to you and tell you how they feel deep down inside. Nine of swords. They want to, like, come out of this, you know, nine of swords energy. They want to come out of their fears. They want to come out of feeling, you know, hurt, guilty, trapped, whatever the case may be. They want to come out of that. And they want to open up and, you know, tell you how they feel, three of wands, and express themselves to you so that you guys can you know, get on the same page, be willing to compromise and get the relationship off the ground and start over. But this person is just not opening themselves up to do it because of their fears and blockages around whatever they have going on. This can with, be with the new person. This can be in general. I feel like their biggest fear is losing you though because we have the eight of pentacles here. They don't want to lose everything that they've built. You know, the Eight of Pentacles is like when you build brick by brick. So it's like you guys really were invested in this person. You know, you guys really put a lot of work into the relationship. Both of you guys did. Yeah, see, we have the Seven of Swords. And they, you know, were being dishonest within the relationship with the Seven of Swords. They walked out on the relationship. They were dishonest. There was a lot of deception, betrayal. You know, four of wands. You guys could have been in some type of commitment. And with the six of swords, we have the two of swords. So, yeah, they were torn. They thought leaving was going to be the best thing to do. And now it's like they want to come back and be at peace with you. But they're in their head, like I said, thinking the worst. They have a lot of fears. They already feel as if they lost you already, Capricorn. For some of you, I feel as if the ex has already came back. And you guys are, you know, at peace now. And with the Two of Swords, um, they release, um, not release, they let go of, like, their self-doubts. You know, they open their self up to you. They open their heart to you. They've expressed how they felt, you know, after a stalemate, after coming out of a stalemate. Because they were in, like, some type of stalemate or just stuck or they weren't giving you anything emotionally or opening, opening up to you emotionally. And we have the four of wands here. So let's you know they would have moved back in. Are you guys just moved? And the seven of swords would be them um, like breaking free, you know. Not in their old ways anymore. The four of swords, the knight of swords. Yeah, whatever drama or whatever you guys had going on in the past. With the knight of swords so if there was any drama you know any harsh words anything said with the four of swords both you guys have just laid it to rest you know you've healed because we have the three of swords up here you're heartbroken you know the four of swords you've healed you're ready for some type of new beginning so it looks like you guys are starting over or just continuing the relationship but letting go of all the drama and, and, and anything in between and just wanting to work things out because like I said, this person would have opened up with the Two of Swords. Because they weren't opened up before. The Page of Swords. Yeah, see, they weren't opened up because with the Page of Swords, they just knew that if they opened up to you or came towards you, there was going to be some conflict, some drama. You know, because the Page of Swords, they just knew you were ready to argue or, you know, say something. And that's what they thought. But things were different. You guys weren't. Or you guys are not going to be like that. And it's going to allow you guys to come back together. We do have the sun at the bottom of the deck, so that's really good. That's positive energy, you know, so looks like you guys have healed or there will be some healing, you know, and it will allow you guys to shift and, you know, start over in this relationship so things can possibly grow the right way this time. All right, Capricorn, 
that is your mini case of the X reading. I love you guys. I love you. I love you. And I will talk to you guys again soon. If you guys want to book a personal reading, all my information is in the description box below. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.